This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams on Miss Melody. We're doing the warm up now and we've changed the warm up a little bit. We're going into the canter. Now we're doing a lot more lateral work. And this is new for Melody. She used to just run around or do whatever she wanted for her can, you know, for her warm up, but now we're asking her to stay more connected. Which is a good thing with her because she's a sensitive girl likes to disconnect a little bit. So let's just see how she'll be able to handle this today. First time we've done this at the warm-up. That's right, that's where she disconnects. That's exactly right. Put her into a shoulder in. Now you're going to expect her to stay underneath of you. Good, think shoulder, bring the shoulder over. That's right. Keep her back end active. Keep her neck straighter. Good. Once she starts rushing, you're going to put her into a shoulder in and start a turn across the ring in like a 10 meter circle. That's right. Turn her more until you feel her shoulders come up. There. Feel her shoulders come up. Then you can go straight. Hands close to the mane. That's right. That's right. She's going to be looking for that killer mockingbird in that corner. That's right. Where is her weight? Good, Trudy. Take your time. She should be stretching lightly on that inside rein. It's all right. Yep. Bump her up. That's right. Now when you come out of your curve, you're going to ask her to go forward more. And you can try either side. You can do counter flexions with her. You, you, that was very nice, Trudy. She was color her surprised. <laughs> it's all right. Yep. That's her tendency is to rush. We're, that's being changed now. So think shoulder in. Every time she gets rushy, you've got to do something lateral. Shoulder in is a good exercise. It gets them on the inside hind. That's it. Take your time. Keep her connected. Good. Think shoulder in. Good. Anything feel different in her canter? Yeah, it's more... That's right, that's right. So what you've done is you've changed the warm up to where now you're expecting her to carry a more balanced canter from the get go. That's it, and you can do counter flexes, whichever you want, change directions when you feel like it. Good, good. Remember, you've got to get her, bring her shoulder over when you do it though. Bring her shoulder over. That's right. If she locks up in her neck, you know what you have to do. If you feel it in the pole, it's really her back end. That's right. And you can flex her to either side to help her unlock. Good. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There's nothing she can do wrong right now. This is actually a very nice relaxed canter she's doing, Trudy. What are you going to do? Yep, bring your shoulder in. That's where she gets you pumping and lifting your seat up. You need to bump her with your legs instead of lifting your seat. Good. Do a flexion, whichever side, so she's under you. That's right. Bring her shoulder in more. There, there. Bring your shoulder in more until... There, there. She's uphill. Feel it? Yeah. She won't be able to hold it long. That's right. And that's when you bring her shoulder over, push your rear end over. That's right. Or do a little counter flex. We'll fix it too. That's it. Good. Good. She just gave me fibbing that way. I was trying to get it from that, a wall. That's, that's all right. That was very good. Yeah? What are you feeling different about her canter? Well, instead of feeling like I'm off to the races. That's right. I feel like she's sitting back on her haunches. That's right. But it's hard. Yes. But well, I time. Know that mentally, she gets so offended. She does, and but she's good. in a better place mentally now than she's ever been. But I mean, if, you, if I really gave her a hard correction, I mean, she would just be like, oh! Meltdown. You know? And then you lose it all because she's got to get over her moment of, I'm, oh, I'm all upset. That's you right. Know? Take your time. Yeah, nice camp. She's really staying connected with you. That's it. That's it. That's right. Keep her connected. Bring her shoulder in. Unlock her pole. It's all right. That's all right. Praise her leg. 
leg. Bring her shoulder in. Push her rear end out with your inside leg. That's it. Unlock her pole. That's it. Try to add a somewhat straight line to this. That's it. And then add another curve so you can get her back. That's right. Straight line into curves. That's all right. That's all right. Keep her back end active until she reconnects with you. So you're going to do the straight line into the curve a little bit like a leg yield into a straight line type of feeling. Whichever lead you're going to be on. You're going to do a couple steps. Straight. And then you're going to send her forward. Take your time. That's it. Take your time. Keep her connected. Bring her shoulder over. Leg. Bring her shoulder over more. More. Bring her shoulder over. Now send her forward. Good. Bring her shoulder over. Start a curve. Send her forward till she picks up her shoulder. There you go. Bring her shoulder over. Send her forward. That's it. Bring her shoulder over. Send her forward. That's it. Bring her shoulder over. That's all right. That's all right. She's trying. This, that was really hard. What did you feel that did? I just, yeah, she's just, my thighs are starting to get tired. Oh, your thighs. <laughs> oh, that would mean that you're really riding from your seat. I'm really riding from my seat with her trying to keep her from scampering into the trough. That's right. What a different canter. Do you feel the difference in her canter, how she's balancing better? That was very nice. Okay, give her a walk break. Take a walk break. If your thighs are burning, you need a break.